it's Rachel, welcome back to the Engineering at Home series. This week I'm going to take you through how to build a robot using just materials from your recycling. It's actually part of a two-part challenge, so if you head over to Vex Robotics video that will be linked in our description, they'll teach you how to do a bit of simple coding using their virtual playground. There are prizes available, so make sure you stick around to the end and find out how you can enter and win one of those prizes. The materials we're going to need this week are some cardboard, some cardboard tubes, some wooden skewers, some drinking straws, I've used milk bottle tops for my wheels, some string, a fridge magnet and anything you can use to make the body of your robot. I've used egg boxes, also tape and scissors. The first thing we're going to build is the wheel base. So this is really important that your wheels can freely spin. So as you can see, I'm sticking some drinking straws down. These are what you're going to stick your axles through. So I'm using wooden skewers as my axles. And this means that your wheels will be able to freely turn within the straw and your robot will be able to move. What we're now going to do is we're going to build your wheels and your axles. So using these wooden skewers as your axles, you're just going to pierce a hole through the middle of your milk bottle top. Make sure to do this carefully, we don't want any injuries, so get your parents to help you. Just repeat this with all four milk bottle tops, and that's going to be your set of wheels. So now what we're going to do is attach the axles and the wheels to the base. So as you can see, I've just threaded my axle through the drinking straw and attach the wheels to either end. It's quite easy to attach the milk bottle tops once the holes are punched through them. Just make sure that you're being safe, especially around the pointy end. Once all of this is attached, your robot will be able to roll. Now it's time to build the body of your robot. As you can see, I've used some egg boxes and just built them up on top of each other that you'll see in this clip. This is really time for you to be creative. We wanna see some really good ideas. This is a chance to win some prizes. That means you should take some time, think about what design you're gonna make, think about what you want it to look like, base it on a real life robot if you'd like, and make sure that you really think about what's gonna make your robot stand out from everyone else's. So this is the front and side view of my finished robot. It's now time to work on our mechanism to pick something up off the floor. So as you can see here, I'm just sellotaping a fridge magnet to a bit of cardboard. That's gonna act as our device to attract something metal on the floor. We're now gonna work on attaching our magnet to our robot. So as you can see, I've just poked some holes through the edge of this cardboard. Try to make sure these are as even as possible. That's gonna make your magnet balanced. Then you're gonna thread your string through, tie it in a knot so it looks a bit like a swing and that's what's gonna attach it. So as you can see, I've added some arms onto my robot. This is what's gonna act as a sort of winch. And I'm gonna thread this stick through these holes that I've made. also be able to freely turn and then I'm gonna tie this magnet so that it reaches the floor on to each end of my winch now this magnet's quite heavy so if you're gonna see when I try and winch it up my robot's going to fall over, okay? So balance is really important in this kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and find something a bit heavier and we're going to place it on the back and stick it here so that when you winch up your magnet, there's a counterweight at the back and that's going to keep it steady. So here you can see I've just found a bottle of glue, weighs a decent amount, so I've stuck that on the back so that my robot no longer tips over and the winch system fully works. So therefore I can lower my magnet and lift it back up when I want to lift anything off the ground. So here are some quick clips of my robot in action. You can see me lowering the winch, picking up the green paper clip and lifting it off the ground. Now you can see the robot moving towards the red paper clip. The winch will be lowered, it will pick up the red paper clip and then lift it back off the ground. 
hope you had fun this week. I hope you built something that works. I hope you've really enjoyed yourself. Don't forget to send us pictures of your designs into the at small piece dress with the hashtag engineering at home. And that's how we're going to pick winners this week. So there are going to be prizes for design. So make sure that you've really had your imagination flowing. Make sure they could look like anything you want, like the Mars rover or a human, maybe an animal. And make sure that you send us all those pictures and we're going to pick winners from the ones that are sent in to us. The next part of this challenge is over on the Vex Robotics channel, so that'll be linked in the description down below. Make sure you head over there, have a go at the coding side of this. It's going to be really similar to what you've designed your robot to be able to do, but you're going to actually be able to code it to do it in a virtual playground on the internet, okay? It's really, really cool. So make sure you guys head over there. There is a prize for the coding aspect as well, so make sure you check out the description for the full details of what you need to do to be entered into that competition as well. Like I said, thank you for turning up this week. Make sure you head over to the VEX channel to have a look at their half of the challenge. Really hope you had fun. Make sure you send us all your pictures and don't forget to come back next week and check out all the other challenges on this page.